IBD or inflammatory bowel disease is the name given to a group of diseases that affects the intestine of human beings. IBD is of two types. One is Crohn's disease, which can affect the large intestine, the small intestine, and the all parts of the intestine. Whereas ulcerative colitis is a disease that affects only the large intestine. IBD can happen to anyone. There are a lot of factors that can produce IBD. There are genetic factors. There are environmental factors, that is, factors that surround you. So who, cause, who can develop IBD? That we cannot predict. Even if you have a member in your family who has IBD, it is not certain that you will or will not develop IBD. The cause of IBD is still not very certain. There are genetic factors, there are environmental factors, but in short, it is the abnormal response of the human body to its own parts that produces IBD. There are some common symptoms of IBD. One is increased bowel movements or diarrhea. You can have blood in your stools. You can have crampy abdominal pain or you can have joint pain and uh, symptoms not related to the intestine and symptoms not even related to the intestine. IBD can be kept under control in most patients. Total cure of IBD may not be possible. There are very effective drugs nowadays which can keep the inflammation in your intestine down and uh, let you uh, lead a practically normal life with a very good quality of life. There are new medicines known as biologicals that has been found very effective in treating IBD. Also regular follow up with your doctor is very important. If you are planning a pregnancy, always consult your doctor because some of the drugs that are given for IBD can have a deleterious effect on your pregnancy. Many of the drugs that you take for IBD can safely be taken during pregnancy. And always consult a doctor, consult your doctor before stopping any drugs which you are on for IBD. Many patients with IBD have got normal fertility, they can conceive and often have a normal delivery normal pregnancy, normal delivery, and a very healthy baby. IBD can be kept under control, which is known as remission, and this can last for many years and even a lifetime. But make sure that you follow the doctor's advice and keep taking the medicines. IBD is a chronic disease. Sometimes the disease may flare up, in which case you consult the doctor who will prescribe you additional medicines or step up the dose of medicines so that your flares can be controlled. Otherwise, a minimal dose of medicine is often required in patients with IBD. Surgery often depends on what type of IBD you have. In Crohn's disease, surgery may be indicated if you have abscesses, if you have other complications like strictures, which are not amenable to medical treatment. But if you do the surgery, which often implies removing a part of the intestine, Many a time your disease will come under control and it will be easier to control with medications. Whereas in the case of ulcerative colitis, which is a disease involving the large intestine, surgery may be curative in some patients who may require the large intestine to be taken out. Please talk to your doctor about more information on what all healthy food you can have, what all exercises you can have, about your medications and please follow up with your doctor as he suggests. Thank you.